Hey everybody, hope you're all doing good. Coming to you from a uh, non-disclosed location outside Billings. Staying, uh, been staying up here with uh, some family. Managed to get the motor home actually down to the cabin. I uh, got a few shots. Haven't been filming much. Um, hanging out, getting caught up with family. So uh, kind of took a break from filming and just kind of relaxing and enjoying our travels right now. Um, we're getting ready to take off. We're going to start heading to Fargo and get ready for the beet harvest. So thought I'd show you kind of where we're at. This is beautiful plains, kind of eastern Montana. Got the RV on a nice spot. We actually went down the cabin. Look at this road. Look at these ruts. <laughs> so it was pretty muddy when we got here and we went for it. I got the motorhome down there uh, just barely. It took all the mud and skills I got. You can see how wide the ruts are for me dragging the dualies through there. So, sorry, sorry, Kelly, about your road, but it's kind of beat up already. We just made it a little wider. So, um, yeah, it dried out, and we managed to get the motorhome back up, and then it just poured all last night. So, really uh, smart to watch the weather. I don't think we would have been able to get out if it was as muddy. We kind of just controlled slid down there <laughs> it's a little hairy but uh well worth it that was such a cool spot down there getting ready for the beet harvest um while we were out here i made this uh wash washing machine bucket of sorts uh drilled some holes in one bucket that sits in the other and then you kind of use that as a strainer and then there's a plunger um in the lid that's got a little agitator that just a cheap plunger I drilled some holes in. This whole thing costs less than those goofy plungers they sell on Amazon for 17 bucks for a plunger to do laundry with. So we're going to try that out because we're not sure what the laundry situation is going to be like. At least with the bucket we can wash socks and, you know, base layers. That's all I'm really going to be going through out there. I'm going to wear the same thing outside every day because it gets covered in mud. doesn't matter. Um, so we got that going and then... Uh, the big debate, the buddy heaters. I've been using the big buddy. Uh, I believe it's 18,000 BTUs. Uh, you know, we were first time, first timers getting into the full time and things. So bigger's better for me. And I went with the bad boy. Built in fan. And kind of here runs off like two D batteries, I think. Um, high, low, medium. So high, it's the two are burning. And then medium and low are just the one. And we can barely keep it on low for more than 15 minutes before we're getting sweat out of here. So I went and we downgraded, downsized to the portable buddy. Um, these are about 150 bucks. I got this for uh, 70 at Walmart. I think they want 149 or something for the big buddy. Um, so now we got the portable, a lot smaller. Um, and I... I'm hoping that we can actually run it and keep it on, you know, at a comfortable temperature. We could never balance it with the big buddy. So how does it work? Uh, we don't do the green bottles. I have this small propane and then the adapter hose and the very important um, regulator. I've noticed with the big one, before I got the regulator, it was a real pain to light and sometimes it wouldn't at all. Um, so get a regulator, well worth it. And just runs right where the bottle connects, right in there. So, uh, another important thing before I use this, I'm going to run this outside on hot. Burn off all the factory oil. Um, a buddy of mine, we were uh, hunting. He got a Sport Cat, which is a really small catalytic heater like this. Um, took it out of the packaging, put a bottle on it, turned it on, warm up his truck that he was sleeping in. And he opened the door about 10 minutes later, and there's just a plume of smoke came out, all this burnt oil, and it was so gross. He, it took him a while to air it out and then get it comfy again, so. Hi, Cinnamon! This is Cinnamon. She's about to go to Australia, and we're really going to miss her. That's one of Panda's best friends. Cinnamon! Cinnamon! And we've been running around with her up here and getting uh, some quality time. Hi! Hi, Poopy! Say hi, YouTube! She's an Australian Kelpie. Really cool breed. They're a herding dog. Huh? Simmer. <laughs> and she's crazy for fetch. Yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah, I wanted to talk about the buddy heaters and uh, 
we're going to start getting on the road to the sugar beet harvest. So I'll maybe talk a little bit more about that before we get there. Um, sure, I'm going to take a break while harvest is going on. You're usually, uh, it's pretty hard to have internet and uh, I'm going to be pretty tired. So probably not going to do much more than eat and then go back to go to sleep and then work. So thanks so much for watching guys and uh, we'll see you on the next one.